Good morning, everyone. Well, not really good morning as it's 1 p.m. now. I had two lectures. I've just gotten ready now and I'm about to head to the library because I've got some work to do today. Before that, I might go out on a little coffee date. The Tuesdays are usually a little bit more chill, so that's kind of the day when I can um, give myself a little bit of time. But after that, I do have quite a lot of work. I had a look at my calendar this morning um, and I saw just how many deadlines I have approaching and it's pretty intense. The next few weeks are going to be quite intense. Yeah, so I'm just about to get ready to leave and then hopefully get some work done today. Good morning, time for another day in studio. I went in yesterday, I did some work, but um, didn't do as much as I wanted to. To be fair, everything that I did, I'm like really, really happy with. Like I'm really happy with the quality of the things that I did do. However, I did not do as much as I originally intended to, which is bad because I have a few deadlines coming up. So I'm about to go in right now and just like tackle a few deadlines. Um, I've got quite a bit to do. So honestly, I'll probably go in and stay there for like a good few hours, just like do a lot of drawings, do a lot of work. And then I might have a little treat in the evening because my common room does free food for us every week so that's happening today hopefully i'll get a little treat if i've worked hard enough i'm just going to go into studio now and work hard on the things that i have to complete
actually 7 p.m. now. This is the first time I'm checking in. Um, as you saw probably from my previous clip, I've just come back from studio and had some dinner, but I'm about to go back into studio. I'll just have a bit of a rest, like 20 minutes or so. Have a little snack, got some vegan chocolate. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back into studio. It's open till 10 p.m., which is kind of the beauty of my course, uh, which is that Honestly, the work never stops. There's never really a moment when you look at your work and you're like, I'm done. I'm done with everything. There's nothing I can possibly do. There's usually just the deadline that stops you from completing everything. And also the fact that we want to have a bit of a healthy work-life balance. It is almost the end of the semester. So I am working a bit harder than I did um, at the beginning. And also I did have a bit of a chill weekend. Like I did not do any work last weekend, but now the work is catching up to me. I have been going into studio every single day and most days staying in pretty late. Yeah, I'll give myself a little bit of a rest because I have been in almost all day and then I'll go back in and do some more drawings. just realized that a lot of my check-ins this week have not been very great. I feel like I haven't explained what was happening, why I'm doing so much work this week, because in all honesty, like most weeks aren't as intense as this one. Just Monday and Tuesday were fine. Like I basically did no work those days, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I was in studio till like 10 p.m. I was in studio till 11 p.m. yesterday. So it's been kind of intense. This is kind of the nature of my course, I guess, because I do architecture. So kind of the beauty in my course is the fact that your work is never really done. Like there's always more you can do. We do have like a specific number of things that we should be doing every week uh, for one of our courses, but it's also the type of thing that you should be exceeding it if you can, but also you're able to kind of put in as much time as you'd like into it. So for example, like last weekend, I did absolutely no work because last week was kind of intense too. Um, so I allowed myself like a whole weekend off, absolutely no work. But that being said, because I had that kind of weekend off, this week has been kind of intense. It's also Easter break next week. So um, I'm going away and I've got a lot of work. I've got a lot of deadlines for like right after Easter. So since I'm going to be away, I need to like do a lot of that work now. I hope this little brief explanation helps explain why the last few days have been kind of like very work intensive. Um and not many like cafe outings and library outings, which is what I usually do. I am actually going to the library today though, because today's work is purely just like writing an essay.
Hi, this is my first check-in of the day. It's mostly been a pamper day for the purpose of the architecture ball. I'm so excited for that. Uh, I've been excited for ages and now it's almost here. Um, yeah, I did my nails, did my brow, did a face mask, just in general prepping for the ball. And I'm about to curl my hair. Um, I'm in the middle of doing my makeup. I just have some BB cream on right now. Um, I don't think I'll do anything too crazy makeup wise. I think I'll just stick to what I normally do and add some like heavier eyeshadow maybe. I'm excited to put on my dress because I haven't tried it on since like when I bought it. I actually thrifted my dress. I had to slightly alter it but apart from that, um, yeah. I found I had thrift store and I'm really really happy with it with the color. The color just like suits the color scheme um, of the architecture ball and the theme that we have. I don't know how much I film. It's one of those things that I don't want to get too scared in the moment because I just know that this is one of those moments that I will want to look back on and remember. I'm about to finish my makeup and do my hair and hopefully our friends will be coming over because our flat is the closest to um, the place where we're having the ball which is the Balmoral Hotel. One of the fanciest hotels in Scotland I'm pretty sure so it's really really exciting. Um, I don't know if I'll have another opportunity apart from like other balls I guess in the future to stay in such a fancy hotel so it's so exciting and yeah I haven't got a lot of time though to prep so I need to get started with that.